I had the biggest aha moment of my life. I get a call from my doctor. And she says, uh, you need, are you in the car? I said, yeah, she goes, you need to pull over. I'm like, well, this isn't good. And I need you to get in as soon as possible. We all have an expiration date. We all do. And at that moment, my world stopped. I heard you all go, ooh, when he said I was Pac-12 coach of the century. You went, ooh, she's old. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. 1990, we're going to make a change with our head coach, and we would like for you to be the new head coach. And I've never done gymnastics. I know. And I said to her, you get it? I don't know the first thing about gymnastics. I went upside down once. <clears throat> it was last year on my 58th birthday. And I did a cartwheel and I got halfway up and my bum came right down towards the camera. And she said, I trust you'll figure the rest out. I'm like, can I get any more? She goes, no, just go figure it out. So I did what I thought was the very, very smart thing to do. I'm gonna go study other coaches. This is where I went way wrong. The year before, we had finished second by half of a tenth. The year I took over, we came in dead last. I realized at that time I was not cut out for this job. On my way to resign, and I come across Coach Wooden's book on leadership. But his book opened up magically to his definition of success. Success is peace of mind in knowing you've done your best. And I read it again. Coach Wooden was hailed as the greatest coach that ever lived. I am a coach. I am hired to win. Where does he talk about winning? I had the biggest aha moment of my life. I had been trying to be somebody else. And at that moment, I realized, whenever you try to be somebody else, you will always be a second-rate them. The worst part about it is it prevents you from being a first-rate you. So I started, I scrapped everything that I had done. I scrapped all those stupid coaching quips and I just became me. And I will never ever forget, a few years later, one of my seniors said, Miss Val, you have finally become a leader worth following. I'm going along, I'm loving my job, we're winning championships, all is good. I get a call from my doctor and she says, uh, you need, are you in the car? I said, yeah, she goes, you need to pull over. I'm like, well, this isn't good. And she says, I've got to tell you, um, your test came back and you have breast cancer. You have a very aggressive form of breast cancer and I need you to get in as soon as possible. And at that moment, my world stopped because the only other time I had dealt with cancer in my life was with my mother's death I was in the fight for my life. And I went to the oncologist the next day. She had this big smile on her face, which I thought was very odd. And she said, now, if you choose to get chemotherapy, if you choose to get surgery, I know it will work. Going through breast cancer was the best thing that ever happened in my life because it's changed every moment of my life since then. But I also realized that we all have an expiration date. We all do. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to think about it, but we do. And none of us know what date that is. But what I want to make sure that I don't do is waste one day of my life. The title of the book also is an homage to Coach Wooden. During his later years, Every time I was with him, somebody said, Coach, you've led, led an impeccable life. Do you have any regrets? And he would always say, I have one regret. My wife, Nellie, loved to dance. And I was always very shy, and I would never been a good dancer. And I realize now that had I danced with my wife, people wouldn't have made fun of me. They would have seen a couple that were so much in love. They loved to dance with each other. And if I could do it all over again, I would dance with my wife. In the history of human beings on this planet, there has never been another you. And there never will be another you. You were born special with a unique light. 
When you try to be somebody else, it prevents your own light from shining brightly. Do not waste one day not fueling your heart and your soul and your light. And when you fuel that light, please make sure to share it with other people.